This is your moment to maximize. Maximize moments with Milton Audio Experience. Hey, hey, what's going on, Maximizers? Could you, not living on purpose, be making you sick? Check this out. So I was thinking about this. I was like, hey, Milton, what could people really get sick? Or what can happen to us physically if we're not living a life of purpose or meaning? And I'm going to interchange meaning and purpose today just for the sake of what I read and, and my studies and research and, and just the experiences of my own life, knowing that when I lack direction or lack purpose in life, how it made me feel. I think my stress levels went up just quite a little bit. I was a little more agitated. I felt uh, a little bit weak and depressed. I, I didn't feel my optimal self. And and many of you have been following my journey over this last year where I've been losing and letting go of some some weight that I've been carrying around for a while. And I, I tell you, I feel so much better in my life. My energy levels are up. Oh, man, my 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 readings are down as far as cholesterol, blood pressure. I'm feeling good about life right now. I'm sleeping better, waking up earlier, just a lot of things that are good comes comes from losing the weight and letting it go. And and staying consistent with your activity and eating. But aside from that, there's still a piece of us outside of the eating correctly and exercising consistently. There is a piece of our life that really affects us not only emotionally, but also physically. And I found in my research that it comes from the lack of purpose as one aspect. Now, there could be others uh, that, that can affect us uh, physically. Um, but I want to focus on the purpose in your own life, and I'm going to follow it up with this article that I did find and how it relates, and I want I want to hear from you. So at the end of this, wherever you hear this on whatever social media chain or channel, I want you to feed. I want your feedback. I want you, I want you to comment and give me some feedbacks uh, if you don't if you're not giving me likes already. But I want to hear from you if you agree with this, um, and if you had any experiences where. The times you have felt less meaningful in life and lack some purpose in life that affects you physically. I so I appreciate your help. So let me let me jump in jump into this real quick. Now this is gonna this is gonna open you up. So I found this article that said happiness isn't all it's cracked up to be. And I think everyone wants to be happy, but how we go about Achieving this happiness can sometimes delay us in the meaningful life that we pursue or the purpose that we're actually after. I like how this famous psychologist, who his name is Viktor Frankl, said that happiness cannot be pursued. It must ensue. One must have a reason to be happy. Unquote. He also said that our constant search for happiness is a problem. It really is a problem. It is the very pursuit of happiness that thwarts happiness. So we don't chase happiness. Happiness comes and as a result of joy. And joy comes as a result of purpose and meaning in life. And, and I like how this other recent study talked about that actually proved that this by showing that the greater emphasis its participants put on happiness, the less happy they actually were. You know, people putting the greatest emphasis on being happy reported 50% less frequent positive emotions. 35% less satisfaction about their life and 75% more depressive symptoms. Wow. Depression comes from pursuing happiness instead of allowing happiness to ensue and come to us in our life. The thing about happiness is really it's, it's a, it's, it is an overused phrase and it's under-examinated concept that we all have an idea what it is and how it works. But you know, this can really lead us astray. I think people say, you just just be happy in life. And what does that really mean, just to be happy in life? And I, I challenge you to answer that question. What does it mean to be just happy in life? You know, is it, is it, happiness isn't necessarily bad for us, but I think when we go about just trying to satisfy our, our human nature, our flesh, and just try to be happy, we find ourselves in that, what they call, depressive state or, of, of, and have those symptoms that come along with it. So, what is the difference between happiness and purpose or what or happiness and meaning in life? And the, here's the crux of the whole issue. 
happiness and meaning are different and, and happiness without meaning really doesn't lead to a great life. And and this is what I, I agree and, and understand. It says being happy is about feeling good. Meaning is derived from contributing to others or to society in a bigger way. Doesn't that sound like purpose? I think purpose is always looking outward. It's always looking at how I can serve and give and be to someone else. And, and that's what meaning does and what purpose does it is derived from contribution to life and contribution to others it's not about us necessarily but that but that that serving and that giving to others and 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 putting out into the world and society and community does come back as a boomerang effect that brings happiness to us so that's where that happiness ensues as a, as a result of us living on purpose each and every day so I really want to encourage you today. So this is what here's here's the problem. When our happiness outweighs our purpose in our lives, this is this can happen. Purpose without or happiness without purpose characterizes a relatively shallow, self-absorbed, even selfish life in which things go well, needs and desires are easily satisfied and difficult or taxing entanglements are avoided. So scientists reported say that happiness are asking questions like, how often do you feel satisfied? And how often do you feel interested in life? If you listen to my recent podcast, I talked about these five questions that spark your, spark your inner purpose. And I really, and that's in work and life, but I really believe that when you when you start asking questions about your inner purpose when it comes to the work that you do, whether it's your career, whether it's your business, um, and you can extend that over into other personal areas of your own life, when you start asking those questions that spark your inner purpose, you do find an anchor in what you do, but if you just really focus on what makes me happy and, and or questions that often you feel interested in life, I think that doesn't, it's, it's really a shallow, those are shallow questions of happiness or self, self-seeking, self selfish um, ambitions, which really just fizzle and, and die out and, and sputter out in our own life. And, and, and so, so purpose and meaning, the, they're, they're two words that, that, that really bring joy to life because we're we are humans number one but relationally number two our human nature desires to give and desires to tend and and it desires to work and and also build community and and those things in purpose it is it is a focus outward on others rather than inward on ourselves um, so researchers and, and this is one that I like how Roy Baumeister explained it like this. He said, partly what we do as human beings is to take care of others and contribute to others. This makes life meaningful slash purposeful, but it does not necessarily make us happy. So scientists test whether participants fill their lives have meaning with questions like, how often do you feel that you had something to contribute to society? And how often do you feel that you belong to a community or social group? Apart from just thinking about others more, we also feel more like our lives have meaning when we think more about the past and future, whereas happiness pertains simply just to the present. Now, it's important to be in the moment, but when you do reflect on your past and you do reflect on your future, you do find more in-depth meaning and purpose in life. And when you when you understand where you're headed and maybe possibly where you've come from, the present times, the moments that come across our lives do um, trigger the point of happiness and joy in our life. And I, I think that's what's really, really important to understand here. Not necessarily everything that you contribute or give will necessarily make you happy at that moment in time, but guarantee that after you reflect on what you've given and how you can contribute it to life and society, you will feel that meaningful and that purpose build and swell up within you. And so I, I found I found this this article to be to be very interesting and to now answer the question about you know what does it mean to be sick when you're not living on purpose? How can I become sick? Um, and and here's where it gets interesting. And I want I want you to want you to hear this. It says that. You know, our bodies are, are good at protecting us from all possible illnesses we, we could pick up each day. What's what's interesting about 
the way this works is that our emotional state can push our immune system into two different kinds of preparation. One prepares to fight bacterial infections and the other viruses. Of course, this is a horribly simplified explanation of the immune system and how it works, but for our purposes, we're just looking at a small part of this that's affected by the amount of happiness and meaning in our lives. So what happens is periods of adversity when we feel that things like stress or grief or loneliness can trigger, they trigger the the activation of a stress-related gene pattern that has two features, an increase in the activity of pro-inflammatory genes and a decrease in the activity of genes involved in antiviral responses. So essentially, your, your body is preparing to fight either bacterial infections or, or viruses. So bacterial infections are bigger risk than we fa- when we face long periods of adversity, whereas viruses are more common when, uh, when we're feeling well and interacting with lots of people. Our bodies take clues from the levels of happiness and meaning in our lives as to which kind of threat to prepare for. So a recent study published in the preceding, uh, Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences by Barbara Fredrickson and Steve Cole found that people who are happy but lack meaning in their lives show the same gene expression patterns as, they, as those who are struggling with prolonged adversity. Their bodies are preparing to fight off bacterial infections. The problem with this is that if... If it continues in a prolonged state, it can increase the risk of major illnesses like cancer and heart disease because the body is in a constant state of inflammation. Wow. So Fredrickson said that the problem isn't with being happy, but with meaningfulness, purposefulness being outweighed by happiness. This is when we risk affecting our immune system systems in detrimental ways. And sadly, this is fairly common to say that people with high happiness scores and low meaningfulness or purposefulness scores form 75% of the study's um, participants and only 25% actually had more meaning in their lives than happiness. So clearly the optimal state we should aim for is a balance between the two. So without enough meaning in our lives, we have purpose in our lives, we can become we we can become ill. Not to mention lacking in purpose and direction. Without enough happiness, however, we'll become well unhappy. <laughs> and really who who does want that? Nobody wants to be unhappy. So um so out out of the two, those weigh those two options. You saw happiness versus purpose, happiness versus meaning, uh uh meaning in life and knowing that if, if we're constantly in a state of lack of purpose or lack of meaning and direction in life, uh, we find ourselves in a prolonged stress state, which creates inflama- inflammation and that inflammation can lead to all kind of other illnesses like heart disease and cancer and high blood pressure uh, because the body doesn't do well with inflammation. And so um, I want to challenge you today, not only think about the physical aspect of your life when it comes to your Um, lack of purpose and direction and meaning, but also how does that impact others around you? Um, If you do care about your loved ones, whether it's your spouse or children or parents or um, whoever's in your life that you care about, your lack of living on purpose will affect not only you, but it will, will impact them as well. Positively and purpose um, and lack of purpose negatively. So Give that some thought today. I hope that challenges you today to really think about living a life of purpose and start asking yourself the questions. Um, And if you need those questions, those five questions that have really triggered a lot of people, go to my last uh, podcast, listen to that, answer answer those questions and spend time meditating on that. Um, Until next time, I want you to be blessed and know that uh, you are on my mind thinking about how I can help um, ignite connect and maximize your purpose and potential for living each and every moment of your life. God bless. Peace. Maximizers, I really appreciate your attention and your ear. And could you do me a favor? Could you like, comment, or subscribe to this podcast? Share it as well. I love for others to be impacted just as maybe you have been impacted. 
I, I like us to become a river instead of a reservoir, keeping it all bottled up. Let's share it with the world and share it with others. Who knows what good we can do when we share? God bless. We'll talk to you soon.